Hey Starshine, how are you? I'm TK and today I will play more of Yakuza 0. And we are going to go head off to the Grand. That guy over there wants to get a battery, but that's going to have to wait because I don't feel like it right now. I want to go to the Grand. Let's go. Enter. I gotta remember where the buttons are again. I haven't played since before vacation. I haven't played since last year, technically. Whoops. <laughs> Good morning, sir. And again, thank you for managing to strike a deal with Odyssey yesterday. Just doing my job. Now it's up to you guys to keep this place on the upswing. Still, it was quite the surprise to wake up to. Why didn't you tell another girl was? Uh, why didn't you tell me another girl was coming? Uh, besides Nozomi. Um, another what now? I this is news to me. Sure, she's not on Nozomi's level, but she's still a veteran with a solid following. With any luck, all her old regulars will come straight to us now. We gave up on uh, gave up some of our our girls in the trade, but considering what we gained, I'd take this deal any day. Yeah, I'm glad I hauled my ass over here then. Gotta make myself useful around here somehow. Even just getting Nozomi is a small miracle. Asking for anything more would just be greedy. Looks like my little talk with Yamagata went well. Honestly, though, I was hoping we'd make out a little better than what we got. A little more research ahead of time or a closer look at the insides of the club might have given me a few more cards to play with. No sense worrying about it now, though. Oh, I'm sorry, was that me? Did I goof? Did I goof because I didn't find... I think I think I was supposed to look around town a bit more and get some more information there first, right? Is that what you're telling me? Now, if this is a good time, I'd like to work out a new shift schedule. Sure. I'm sorry I don't really have a voice for him. I mean... I don't know. The owner? で、<笑><笑> Do you have to go there now? Oi. Here he hung up. How I go though? Owner, I want to. I want to do the mini game that everyone is telling me I'm going to get addicted to. Ashtaba Park. Classy spot for a classy guy. No telling what shit he'll pull if I'm late. I better get moving. <sighs> if I don't want to go. I'm going to say which slot am I on? I'm on this slot now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to go. I want to hang out in the grand. I like it here. It's so pretty here. It's so fancy. Can I just hang out in a place like this in real life, please? Be nice. It feels so swanky. So fancy. Okay, where am I where where am I going? Down here. Way down here. Okay, so take the bridge down. Head down here. Head down here. Okay. I can do that. I can... I can manage that. Still waiting for that battery? Not happening. Actually, okay. Wait a second. 
Let me see exactly where he said to get it. No, I... Crap. Oh yeah, um, where... Where is that, though? Wrong, wrong place. Don't look at me like that. This is a... It's... It's a different area, so... Okay. It's on the way. I'll go... Is... Wait. Yep, that's who I thought it was. Never mind. Not going that way. I was like, is that... Is that... Is that who I think it is? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. So many of you. Oh. oh somebody... Okay, someone was going to attack me, but then cutscene, so... Flustered young woman. Hmm, what am I gonna do? What to do? Y you! Nope. <laughs> I excuse me! Huh? Er, uh, well, th the thing is. You want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it then. Y yes, what I'm trying to say is. Um, eh. Uh, Listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I... I have a favor to ask. C can you... Please be my boyfriend? <laughs> Look how cute she is. How can you say no? <laughs> say what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please be my boyfriend. Please? Pretty please? Oh, what? Just like that? Your boyfriend. You mean like... You want to be a couple. Go on dates. Uh, what the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. Uh, that's what a boyfriend does. You would be my one and only. Okay, actually, first of all, how old are you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Majima is a good amount older than you. So, wait a second. Back up. <laughs> B boyfriend. Right. Okay. Back it up a step or six. The heck's with this little lady here? Just run up to me on the street demanding that I be her man. She just looked like an adult. She at least looks like an adult. <laughs> Every girl I meet these days makes me understand them less and less. <sighs> I gotta get it together. Can I, can't I let her know she's got under my skin? I'll give her a strong answer. Like, don't even think you've won, little lady. Let's start as friends. I'll take that as a proposal. I got no interest in women. Man, you have no social skills. All of these are just horrible ways to respond to this. I mean... I guess the best one would probably be let's start as friends. But even that is a little just... Can you... Can, uh, for we should ex explain yourself. Why are you so eager to get a boyfriend? I'm curious about that. Um, yeah, I think let's start as friends. The only non awkward one. <laughs> what do you say we start as friends, huh? No, no, I need a boyfriend, not just a friend. Come on now, let's hear the extra syllable that says you're mine. Wh what? You. you you can't just expect a man to jump straight to a girlfriend step. Got to be more natural, you know? Oh, darn it. I've let out a few details, haven't I? I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Uh, excuse me? Pretend? Hi. Yeah, y you see, my father is visiting from back home, and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and told him I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I also told him my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail, and has dangerous hair about him. Kinda like the blade of a knife. <laughs> Why would you give him so many specific details? Why did you just describe me down to the buttons? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I just kind of made it up as I went. 
But then Dad starts saying, I have to see if your boyfriend is worthy of marrying you. So here I am, and I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill, so you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad. Wow, you catch on fast. That's pretty much it. If Dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll force, he'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please, nobody else looks anything like you. Could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? <laughs> I mean, I am busy at the moment, but... Alright. Uh, this girl's in a pickle, alright. They want to marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of their life with him. Fine. You painted yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yes! I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Huh? Oh, my name is Kokoa. You can, uh, please call me Koko-chan. Oh, and sorry, I didn't catch your name? I'm Goro Majima. I see. The Majima-san. I will address you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan? <laughs> we just met. Let's take it a little fast, don't you think? No, no. I know it's... It's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. If you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. Uh, we should be going, like, right now. Huh? I'm getting exhausted already. <laughs> What's that about going? Going where? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to the restaurant where we'll meet my dad over dinner, the three of us. We're gonna meet over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Coco-chan. Make it so we meet, shake hands, and then let me go, why don't ya? Big ba beam, beam, boom. Oh, no, no, that, that won't work at all. Dad won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Goro-chan. Uh, get a move on. Damn, I don't know what I was expecting, but here we are, here we are. Okay, but how should I present myself? How, what would, what would gain your dad's approval? You should tell me this beforehand. So, Goro-chan, this is where we'll meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend and don't anger him. Uh, you got it, but what's this about making him angry? Your dad gets pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. He's not scary, though. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he babies me more than he should. But underneath it all, he's a good father. Uh, he's as good a father as I could ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried, too. You see? So, if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his lid and be all like, Forget this guy! I'll arrange your next date! So, let's avoid that. No problemo. So, let's go over my boyfriend's backstory now. Excuse me? I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies. And your favorite food is omelet the omelet rice I make, okay? Um, give me a second, sweetheart. Let me write that down. <laughs> okay. Six months we've been dating. I am a dentist. I like drives. I like drives and movies. Um, favorite food is the omurice she makes. Okay. <laughs> what was all that? What was that all now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, can you make sure you've got it memorized? Well, you ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all those details? I wrote them down, sweet pea! Just write them on your hand. Fine, from the top. We've been going out for six months. 
You are a dentist. You like going out on drives and watching movies, and you love the omelet rice I make, okay? Uh, I'll give it my best shot. There he is. Dad, over here. <laughs> okay, this is going to be hard. I'm going to take a sip of my Mellow Yellow Zero. I got this big thing because I went to the movies yesterday to see Birds of Prey, which was really good. Um, and I got big mellow yellow zero strawberry orange, which is delicious. I had to take some home. <laughs> so, this is Coco-chan's dad. Unlike his space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. Coco-chan, this is my father. Hello, I'm Coco's father. Pleased to meet you. And this, uh, and this is the man I'm seeing, Goro Majima-san. I mean, you never gave him a name, so this is his first time getting hearing the name at all, and so it's my actual name. Okay. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is super important for a normal couple. This could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. Guess I better buckle down and get into this role properly. No different than at the Grand, right? First impressions key. What do I open with? Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. I'm delighted to meet you, father. Please make my miso soup every morning. <laughs> Let's not go with that. Um, I, I kind of want to just play it safe. This is the first impression. Just be polite. Be nice. He, he seems like a very... You said he you said so himself. He seems very buttoned up. I'd say first one is best bet. This is a little too forward. This is way too forward. So let's go with this. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Majima kun, was it? I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Oh no. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Koko san has stood, uh, has stood by me in every turn. Now you have to call her Koko-chan. You've already called her Koko-chan before. <laughs> well, how courteous of you. Something that gets to me these days is the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. So many can't even manage a proper introduction. You seem different, majima -kun. Yes, he's button up. He likes proper introductions. He likes courtesy and politeness. So we'll keep up with that. That's right, Dad. Goro-chan's not like those stereotypical men. Good. The first impression went well. Playing the respectful type was a pretty slick move. Majima-kun, I must say I'm surprised. You really do exist. Um, I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall yet slender-waisted, sports an eye patch, who has long hair tied back and emits a deadly aura not like a dagger's a not unlike a dagger's edge. Never imagined such a man could actually exist. Yet here you are, in the flesh. See, Dad, I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yes, I'd figured he was another figment of your overactive imagination. So I'm really quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? <laughs> Well, they do seem to be on good terms, and your dad's a decent guy, too. Stern, but decent. Oh, yes, majima -kun. Goku, um, I may have mentioned it already, but what line of work are you in again? My job, huh? You're a dentist! Oh, man, I think Koko mentioned that in your backstory she gave me. I am a dentist. I'll be a dentist! I am a Yakuza! I could just be honest and say I'm a magic cabaret, but no. I'm a dentist! I'm a dentist. Oh yes, yes, that's right. You have a you have a talent for causing things pain. Sorry. Oh yes, that's right. I, I heard you're a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance, not the f not the face I'd expect from a dentist at all. I'd be frank. I get that uh, very often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh damn! You're being so rude to my Goro-chan. Ooh, I'm just glad I remembered what go. Koro-chan told me in the hack job of Baxter. It's like Koko-chan, not Koro-chan. Because it's Koko-a. Incidentally, Majima-kun. Yeah? I was wondering, how did you come to meet Koko-a? Oh, well that's... Uh, shoot. Shoot. 
She didn't tell me. Didn't ask you, I asked Majima-kun. But, tell me, Majima-kun. How did you two get to know each other? It was six months ago. It's prying pretty deep. Is he onto us? Gotta explain how he supposedly met Koko-chan in a way that won't make him more suspicious. She stopped me in the street. <laughs> we sat next to each other at a movie. Koko-chan ran into me while eating toast. Well, we met six months ago. I'm, I supposedly really like movies, so that one probably makes the most sense. We sat next to each other at a movie. We happened to sit next to each other in a movie theater. That's how we met. At a movie? Come to think of it, Kokoa did mention that you enjoy movies. Yeah. L like, yes, like I said, Coco chan just happened to sit next to me. That flick was a real tearjerker, so I offered her my handkerchief, and the rest is history. Yes, that's how it went. Amazing, Goro chan I can't believe you came up with such- I mean, remember it like it was 50 minutes ago. It was so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> nice slip up, sweetie. Well, what a for fortuitous meeting. Then uh, I'm just glad she didn't meet her boyfriend any places she shouldn't be. Of course not. My Goro chan is a proper and decent man. There, I wove in Koko chan's backstory and came up with a tale that rings true enough. Majima kun, I'm going to put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? D Dad, why would you put him on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Kogoa, but I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, like a child. It keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous li family life. Prosperous. That's how you say it. If there is a man who would love you and treat you well, why, I would give him my blessing for marriage right this instant. Dad, ah. Uh that's why I need to ask, Majima-kun. What about Kokoa do you find attractive? He's looking into my soul here. Guess I can't blame him. His daughter's future is on the line. I don't like tricking him, but I told Koko-chan I'd go along with this. Gotta find a good reason why I find her so attractive. She's so cute. She makes great omelet rice. She's so innocent and childlike. We're not going with that one because he's worried about that. We're going to go with the omelet rice thing because that's my favorite food is the omelet rice that she makes. I fell in love with how great the omelet rice she makes is. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelet rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. It is definitely a really lame reason to say that, you know, oh... I'm in love with her because of one of the things that she cooks. And that's it. <laughs> that's my favorite thing about her. Not like something to do with her personality or with her mind or anything that actually has a lot of value. Just one of the things that she cooks. I can get being like, oh, I love, I love that thing that she cooks. It's the greatest. But like not being the like someone asks you what you find attractive and that's the thing you bring up. I don't know. That's... I don't like it, but the other options probably were really bad. <laughs> but Majima-kun, if that's all you see in my daughter, I don't want to give her away to you. Yes, exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> if it's delicious omelet, omelet, omelet rice that you want, you could just as easily marry a cook. Dad. Damn it. Tapping into Coco Chan's backstory backfired. From her dad's point of view, he won a guy who appreciates his daughter fully, not just for her cooking ability. Yeah, but the other ones were so bad. The other ones were just like, she's cute, or she's childlike and innocent, which he was all like, oh, you're too childish, you're gonna get taken advantage of. And that's like exactly what would, then if someone's like, oh, she's childlike and innocent, then be like, yeah, you're taking advantage of that, aren't you? Sorry. Oh, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash out. No, uh, sure, honey. Don't fall in. <laughs> Did you really have to say that much? <laughs> Wait, with her powder in her nose. It sounded just me and her old man. Damn, awkward. Majima kum. Yes? I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's <laughs> He knew the whole time. Eh? Her lie? What lie? The chick is up! <laughs> the chick is up! The 
that's too that's too like much of I I do I would want to be like admit that it's a lie at this point but I'd want to do it at a bit more of like a gentle I, I guess, I guess, no, I mean, I'm definitely going to, now I'm not going to say the chick is up, I'm going to be like, what lie? Yeah, what lie? I got no idea what you mean. What lie? <laughs> you can stop pretending. I knew this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Was it that obvious? If you knew from the start, what gave us away? I could tell just by the way my daughter was acting. I wasn't her father for all these years for nothing. Then why'd you go along with this dumb charade for so long? Kokoa was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried a stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all those suitors I'd arranged for her. You know your daughter well. You saw right through her. I lost my wife when Kokoa was still an infant. I raised her alone without anyone's help. Anyone else's help. I tried to raise her well so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. I've got to stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. She's her own woman. It's time I learned to let go. But the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. Uh, what's that? Someday my daughter's going to bring a real boyfriend to meet me. I thought this might be good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Bah, it still ain't a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone who knew it from the start. But I gotta tell ya, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Coco-chan pulled this stunt. Uh, what do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah. Pretty plain to see she's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted wanted to prove she wanted to prove to you she can manage her own affairs, like getting married. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. I hope this wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Coco-chan. So, listen. Your dad actually knew. Majima-kun. Yes? coco -a. You've done well in finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. Dad. <laughs> I know, right? goto chans a super guy. So this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yes. I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome! I've been an awfully... It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back, Dad. Goro-chan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Goro-chan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be my boyfriend. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I wanted to give you this. Thank you. Got five pieces of fluorite. Okay, whatever the case, I think I'm free from Dad's hounding me to meet his suitors. What a relief. That's good. Yes, well, I have to walk my dad to his hotel. Uh. Yep. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. I'll try. Bye now. Kukua, I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Oh, okay. Hmm? Something wrong? Majima-kun, there's one last thing I need to say. Eh? What's that? Majima-kun, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother of pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> I was I was trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit now. No, no, not at all. That's why I'd like it if you were to be my daughter's real boyfriend. Uh, uh, excuse me? 
what did you say? I said, won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Uh, consider it for a moment, please? What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? Because you're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust her future to you. Whoa, 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 slow down. I'm having trouble believing my ears. You could just start by, by just pretending. That's fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. Did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? You're gonna try to steal my boyfriend? What the heck? Give me a break, you two. This is why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you got two suitors fighting over you. Is fine the right word? I don't know. I'm going to end the episode here on that note of po probably using a word incorrectly. <laughs> okay, and then I, I need to actually get to Ashtaba Park. So, on that note, remember to shine your light in every world. Bye!